Hello, back again. Continuing on with our uh, keys to working with people and leading people. Uh, when I left uh, UPS, I had to get a feel for what was going on in the world, the lay of the land, so to speak. Um, I knew what was going on at UPS, but I needed to know what was going on everywhere else. So I had a study done, and uh, some interesting things came out of it. Lots that, to be honest with you, they were kind of surprising to me. But anyway, so let's go. So here they were. Recent surveys showed that 68% of employees are open to getting a new job, and one in five quit in the first two years. Now, those two numbers, basically, that's a 10% that's a turnover rate as far as people quitting. And the fact that 68% of employees are open to getting a new job is really a reflection that they want to change who they're working for. When people leave a job, they don't leave the company. They leave the manager. So I'm looking at this, I'm thinking, hmm, that's not too good. So we need to fix that one. The next one, four out of 10 employees blame their restlessness on poor management style or lack of mentoring. Uh, this is an interesting statement because, or lack of mentoring, because that's really what a, a leader does. A leader is a mentor. Normally, mentoring talks about being, you know, getting some information from somebody outside your normal business structure. But as far as a manager, a leader is concerned, we are continually mentoring our employees to prepare them for bigger things so that they are uh, excited about their work and they have uh, pride in themselves. Over one third say that having a good manager is the most important determinant of their on-the-job happiness. I found that interesting because when you consider, we, I say management people, have a tendency one to tell people, leave your private life at home and, and you know be a different person when you come into the office. Well, the fact is that doesn't work. It doesn't work for them any more than it works for us. We don't leave our private lives at home. They're with us all the time. Right, we are our whole selves all the time. So, to create an environment where people want to be there, that's a significant plus and a strong attribute for any leader. So, we want our environments to be conducive, um, open, friendly, and it, it encourages cooperation, and people work together. And then they begin, they feel a member of a team. And it's really that feeling like a member of a team that we are, each person is intricately a part of what's going on. And they're recognized for being so. All right. I'll see you tomorrow.